Hey guys, it's Miss Ramsey. I'm going to do another read aloud with you today. Um, and for second grade, one of your science goals is to be able to compare life cycles of different animals. So I'm going to be doing two read alouds this week. So one is going to be on um, tadpoles and then the other on butterflies. And so we're gonna compare those two life cycles. And in second grade, you also need to know um, text features such as captions, bold print, glossary, table of contents. So we're gonna look at that um, this week as well. Okay, so their first life cycle is going to be a tadpole grows up. So do you think this is gonna be fiction or non-fiction? One of our text features is table of contents. So that tells you what you're gonna read and what page it's on. So like you can see on pages 12 and 13, we're gonna be reading about tadpoles hatching. Okay. We also have some bold words in this story to look for, or in this text to look for. So it says word hunt. Look for these words as you read. They will be in bold. So we've got algae, amphibian, blob, embryo, string, tadpole, and worm. And we can also find out what those words are if you go to the back to the glossary. So the glossary tells you those words and the definition, what they mean. So here we go, tadpoles. So that could be like our heading. Are those fish? No, they are tadpoles. Tadpoles grow into frogs or toads. So here we have labeled tadpoles. And here's a caption that tells you what the picture is about. These tadpoles will grow into toads. Frogs and toads are, there's the bold word, amphibians. Amphibians live in water and on land. Frogs have smooth skin. Toads have bumpy skin. Once again, we have a label, bump, and this is a toad. And that caption describes our picture. Look at the smooth skin on this frog. Toads and frogs lay eggs in lakes, ponds, and puddles. Frogs lay eggs in a blob, bold word. Toads lay eggs in a string. Jelly covers the eggs to keep them safe. So this is a frog egg blob. And here's the string. Toad eggs look like strings. You can see how those are different. Embryos grow inside the eggs. The eggs will hatch in about two to three weeks. The embryos become tadpoles when they hatch. So there's a frog or embryo, it's labeled, and that is the egg that we saw back here. Now, if you don't know what embryo is, it's bold. That means it's in the back. Embryo is a baby animal that grows inside an egg. Embryo, a baby animal that grows inside an egg. So here's your caption. The caption tells you about the picture. Look, these frog eggs will hatch soon. A tadpole looks like a fish. It has a tail, but no legs. Its gills help it to get air from the water. It eats algae. Algae are plants that live in water. So there, that picture is labeled. And their caption, this frog tadpole is swimming in algae. What is happening to this tadpole? It's growing black back legs. Its front legs will grow later. Its lungs are growing too. Its lungs help it to breathe air. And then the legs are labeled. Three months have passed. The tadpole has lost its tail. It's time to hop out of the water. The tadpole eats bugs and worms now. So it's gone from eating algae to bugs and worms. It's gone from in the water to out of the water. Tadpoles can grow into toads. 
Tadpoles can grow into frogs. A tadpole grows up. So number one, jelly covers the egg to keep the frog egg safe. Embryos are inside the egg. Number two, look, this egg is about to hatch. When the egg hatches, a tadpole comes out. Three, these tadpoles are 10 days old. Number four, this tadpole is hungry. Look at it eat. Number five, the tadpole is getting bigger. It has back legs now. Number six, it's still growing, but it hasn't lost its tail yet. And number seven, where's the tail? It's gone. The tadpole has grown up. It is a frog now. So that's the different stages in the frog's life. So let's look at these pictures right here and see if you can figure out which one goes there. So the egg, which picture would be the egg? These blobs right here. Tadpole, which one would go with tadpole? This one up here. Froglet, ooh, what do you think a froglet would be? A baby frog. And then a frog, this would be our frog. So what order do you think those go in? What would come first? The eggs, then what? And then the tadpole comes out. The tadpole grows up to be a froglet. You can see it still has its tail and it's got some legs but then it changes and keeps growing, changes into a frog, okay? So that would be the life cycle of the frog. So I have a question for you. See if you can answer this. A lot of you have been replying to my um, Flipgrid read alouds and I really enjoy listening to your answers. So how does one part of the frog or of the life cycle lead to the next part. Doesn't necessarily have to be the frog life cycle. How does one part of the life cycle lead to the next part? So that's what I want you to think about and see if you can answer that in your flip grid, okay? So one more time, how does one part of the life cycle lead to the next part? And so if you think about it, as we flip through the book, we'll just retell it real fast. There's your tadpoles. But it starts out as the egg. So frog eggs are in blobs. Toad eggs are in strings. So it starts as the egg. You've got the embryo inside there. The embryo hatches out. So now it's a tadpole. It's eating algae. It's body is changing, it's growing legs, and then now it has changed into a frog. It's now living on land, so that's what an amphibian is. An amphibian is an animal that hatches in water. It hatches in water, but it can live on land, all right? And so now it's an adult and it's eating. So those are the stages or the life cycle of the frog. So once again, you have the egg, you have the embryo, you have the tadpole, you have the tadpole changing, its body is changing, there's its legs, um, and then it comes out as a frog, turns into a frog, okay? So I hope you enjoyed our nonfiction text, looking at those text features and learning the life cycle of a frog. And like I said, I'll do another one later in the week um, so we can learn about another life cycle. I hope you guys have a good day. And if you're able to respond to my flip grid, thanks. Bye guys.